been a choppy market for uh, the broader equity market, certainly been a choppy market, uh, a downward choppy market for energy stocks in general, and MLPs have certainly not been immune to that. Uh, MLP stocks are down fairly significantly year to date. Uh, I think at the beginning of the year, uh, MLP stocks were mirroring the uh, downdraft in oil prices, even though that's fundamentally not justified given the cash flow generating characteristics of most of the assets that we invest in. Uh, nonetheless, from a sentiment point of view, all energy stocks have been out of favor and energy MLP stocks have, have, have kind of been lumped in, in, into the same bucket. There has been uh, speculation this week that uh, g given the downdraft that we've seen in MLP stock prices that these companies could have limited access to capital markets. And it is a truism that MLPs do require access to capital markets. They basically pay out their cash flows to you and me as investors in their companies. And to the extent that they have any growth opportunities, whether it's buying an, an asset or building a new asset, they do need access to capital markets to finance that growth opportunity. Uh, that being said, uh, these companies, while their equity prices are at depressed levels, they still have ready access to the debt capital markets. And let's not forget, back in 2008, 2009, these companies had no access to capital markets, whether it was the debt capital market or whether it was the equity capital market. And in that environment, what happened, and what should happen uh, if it should happen again, is the distribution growth will slow, but it does not necessarily mean that distributions are going to be cut or go negative. The existing assets are still generating the same cash flow as they were before, and you might not be able to uh, execute on that growth project that's in your backlog, uh, given a lack of access to capital markets. But again, it means slowing distribution growth, not negative distribution growth, which is obviously, at least in my opinion, uh, what these stocks are currently discounting. The fundamentals of what MLPs, and specifically infrastructure-oriented MLPs, are all about is far from impaired. And in fact, the fundamentals of what we're invested in, in our, in our uh, MLP investments, is, uh, is, is actually quite strong. You know, the volatility has been tough to stomach, quite honestly, but uh, certainly from a fundamental perspective, which is how we look at things here at Clearwitch, we're looking at the intermediate to long-term outlook for uh, this space, as well as the individual companies. We're still very confident that uh, MLPs are going to be a growth vehicle for investors in the coming quarters and in the coming years. Uh, the reality is that there is an enormous amount of infrastructure that remains to be built out in the United States. MLPs have been and will very likely continue to be at the forefront of building out that uh, required infrastructure. And with that required infrastructure growth is going to come continued, in our opinion, distribution growth from the MLP companies that we're investing in. And that hasn't changed, irrespective of the volatility and how difficult it's been to stomach this on, on, on some days that where the stocks are trading off violently.